What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale, and I just want to give a quick shout out to all the new subscribers, all the new listeners. Um, We appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in every week. This is just so much fun uh, to do for you guys, and I'm just so glad it is being received by everyone. So make sure to rate, review, subscribe. All that said, Austin, Texas, I will be in you weird i will be in austin texas austin uh hold on i will be in austin texas june 15th at the vulcan gas company june 15th 7 30 get your tickets at vulcanatx.com i'll see you there and without further ado let's get into this week's episode he is an actor he is a pop culture enthusiast he is a funny, witty, amazing comedian. I've known you forever. Yes. Please welcome Pete Zayas, everyone. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You were all zhuzhed up. Oh, I wanted to get all, you know, zhuzhed up for pride. Oh, yes. And for you and for pride. Pride. It is officially pride. And here's what I'm going to say. <laughs> If we want to get rid of the gay agenda, they're doing it very well. We have Memorial Day weekend, uh-huh. WeHo Pride, and LA Pride back to back to back. Exhausting. I mean, how narcissistic is LA that we need two prides? Well, plus there's downtown LA Proud. That's what is in, that? Well, that's in August. And then there's, um, I'm sure, a Pride at Americana at Brand. Yes. Um, you know, there's always a Galleria Pride. Pride. The, the, yes. the Grove Pride. Mm. Had a, um, no, it's, I love that Pride started on the 31st. They couldn't even wait till the 1st. They, we got to do it now. Yes. We got a party. Well, and what always makes me laugh, too, is that uh, people just think that Pride is in June. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Pride goes to November. I think that's the last Pride in America. That, is that the Palm Springs Pride? It's Palm Springs, which is kind of fitting. You yeah, know, yeah. The last Pride <laughs> in America <laughs> is Palm Springs. Yeah. They all turned to, we all turned to dust yeah, by just, November. Just dinosaur bones in the wind. Oh, I love Palm Springs, though. Yeah. Would you want to retire in Palm Springs? Absolutely. Yeah, I could see myself retiring like, I, now. I know. Like, I'm one of those people that it's like, oh, it's 120 degrees in Palm Springs. Let's do it. You know yeah. why? It's a dry heat. Yeah. Dry heat. Yeah, it's good for the bones. I can do it just, mm, yeah. Mm. And I love walking outside at night in Palm Springs and just hearing silence. No planes, no mm-hmm. ambulances, nothing. It's just mm, how I want it to be. An oasis. Yeah, an oasis, oasis. in the a, desert. A pride oasis. Yes. Well, speaking of pride oasis, you have a show coming out this month, uh, Psycho Beach Party. Yes. Live here in Los Angeles at what theater? At the Matrix Theater. It's on Melrose. Yes. And it's written by legendary playwright Charles Bush. Yes, and it's an all-star cast. It is. Who? Drew Drogi. Drew Drogi. Who's been on the pod. Sam Pancake. Roz Hernandez. Been on the pod. Daniel Gaither. um, Tommy Hobson. If I get these names wrong, It's okay. (laughs) I'm horrible with names. You just get your own cast wrong. I'm horrible with names. I'm really horrible with names. You're just pulling out paper and, okay, that fits. Um, Benifer, everyone's in this play. Benifer Shadow cast. Priscilla Presley. Yes, I love her. Elvis Presley. Heard of him. Yes, um, everyone's in this play. That's great. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Uh, And her new nose. And the old nose. And Andrew Cunanan. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, and Donatella. That's amazing. Smurfette. Oh, yes. John Benet Ramsey. Uh, Oh, it, it, good. The, uh, the biggest stars Hollywood has ever seen. Perfect. I can't wait. And now, if you're not familiar with Charles Bush, Charles Bush is like an icon, was in uh, Die, Mommy, Die, mm-hmm. was in the original uh, Psycho Beach Party, yeah. which was a film. It was originally a play, and play then they turned, both, film. They turned them into films, and now I'm, we're, do, we're all doing the play. And this is the revival of it. Yes. Oh, so good. And if you haven't seen the film Psycho Beach Party, watch that. But if you are in L.A. or visiting L.A., Make sure to check out Psycho Beach Party starting June 14th on and, Melrose. Uh, and I play Marvel Anne in the movie. Amy Adams plays that part. Word. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Is someone typecast? <laughs> I'm very Amy Adams. <laughs> we know she's in that new movie coming out where she plays a dog. What? K9. No. Is it animated? <gasps> It's, no, it's a real thing, but like at night she turns into a dog. And um, is this where we're at? The tagline is motherhood's a bitch. Okay. I think it's called K9 or something. She's a dog. She's a dog. 
Why not? I do like the tagline, though. My That's mother's good. a bitch. I like it better than karma's a bitch. Yes. Um, because this past weekend was Pride WeHo. Did you go to any of it? No, I would go. I live in the east side, so it's like, <laughs> a, it's a real struggle it to get out. Struggle. Once you get in it, to get yes. out of it. Um, I, I wish there was an east, an EHO Pride, an East Ho. Yeah, East Ho Pride. An East Ho Pride. I mean, why not? There's so many other ones. Add that one. But I get it because everything literally shuts down. Mm-hmm. Like, I live in West Hollywood, the studio's in West Hollywood, and I woke up Sunday morning. I didn't do any of the stuff. I feel like I've lived here for so long, like, Pride is every day. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm yeah. like, okay, I don't need to spend $25 to get into high tops. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't need to, like, barter organs to get into trunks. And there's always a line. Oh, yeah, and... and you can kind of tell who lives here and who doesn't. There was a lot of Lukes. Yes. A lot of Lukes. Well, they, everyone comes in from the outskirts, and then everyone acts crazy. I mean, like, oh. and good for you. Yes. But I act crazy on the off, off peak hours. I like off crazy peak. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly <laughs> my vibe. And so Sunday came around. Everyone's like, okay, the parade. The parade started later this year. Oh, really? They, I think they wanted people to get out of their K-hole. <laughs> And wake up, have a mimosa, refuel, uh-huh. retox, and people were out. People were out. We did it where we went to Gym Bar, because my boyfriend works for Amazon. So they had, like, the front of Amazon was like, this is ours now. We <laughs> claim this. And so we had the front of the um, bar, which was, like, the patio. So it was nice. There was space we could move. But damn, like, once the parade... Six out of ten. Mm. I'm not we, gonna lie. It needed more floats. More floats. More wigs. It was way spaced out. Like it would uh, be like, here's the city hall. Twenty minute break. <laughs> Here we have moms with free hugs, which I always lose it. I'm like, oh, oh god, moms are giving hugs. Um, oh god, how sweet. Um, but yeah, and like Cindy Lauper was on a float. She was just like, get me out of here time after time. Like, I, she could not be bothered. Well, I just heard that she's like doing her farewell tour. Is she? Yeah, she just announced it. So that this was her fa- farewell parade. She should have just performed on the parade and then said bye. Yeah. I, sh- I mean, <laughs> what I a way to go. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Bye. She just me- disintegrates into <laughs> butterflies. <laughs> Meet me at the Abbey for an apple martini. Yeah. <laughs> Your wallet will be stolen, but it'll be a great time. That was funny when the Abbey float went by. I was like, I want my wallet back. <laughs> <laughs> why is everybody stealing from? Why is the Abbey? Um, why is there a criminal in the Abbey? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go undercover. And I'm going to solve this crime. You could go in that outfit. Well, that's why I'm wearing this. Right after this time, I'm going over to the Abbey. Because I, I have all of my Kucha bra with me. You know, I- I'm serious. Yeah. I've got my magnifying glass. I'm going to dust for fingerprints <laughs> at the Abbey. That's not fair. People can't be stealing. And you know it's a heterosexual stealing from us homosexuals on Pride. I just know it. I don't think I don't think anyone's ever whipped out a magnifying glass. Oh, I, well, I have. I have. I can't like detective this how I read my, This is how I read my tabloids. Yeah, I have reading glasses. I can't, sometimes <laughs> I can't find them. But I can always find my magnifying glass. But after this, yeah, I'm going undercover as um, a plumber. Yes, I get it. And um, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, or the top. Who or knows? the top of it. it uh, but overall, uh, it got to the point where it was like 1.30, 2 in the afternoon, and people were obliterated. Uh, just, just stumbling, falling <laughs> over exposed tree roots, just like ankle snapping. Oh, just, my gosh. There was one girl who was being dragged by her friend, and she was just bumping into everyone. With a lit cigarette, I was like, oh, oh. She, and she held on to it. Good for her. <laughs> she did. I was like, oh man, I didn't see any of the shows. I was kind of bummed, but I crowds. No, I don't like them either. I, I'm not into like outdoor festivals or yeah. parades or carnivals. Um, I just feel like I, I need to figure out how to get out of here. Exactly, you know? and people are insane. You never know. You never yeah. know what's going to happen. But uh, I really did want to see Kylie Minogue. I did give myself a strike on my gay card for not seeing Kylie Minogue, but it looked great. She announced a new song with Diplo and uh, Orville Peck. I was Diplo there as well. Oh yeah, Diplo loves gay pride, yeah. but not right, right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. 
But then he showed up with like BB Rexa, oh, I think wow. Simone from Drag Race. It was like it, it, was it was overall fun. It was a star-studded pride. Yeah, it was a good good star-studded pride. I think Sophia Ellis Baxter was there. Like Saturday night, Janelle Monet kicked it off. I heard Janelle, uh, Janelle Monet had some technical difficulties. Her and microphone went out. Something like that. Okay. And people were like, Ugh. I mean, I could. Mm. If it's past 9.30, I know it's not going to start till 10.30. Uh-huh. I've then... worked here for too long. I know how things don't go on time. <laughs> oh, the show starts at 8.30? Well, it's 9.45. Great! <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, it was great. And then next week, we have LA Pride, because we can't unify anymore. But that's our message. <laughs> well, I love that I love that LA Pride is in downtown, and then yeah. downtown LA Pride, Proud is also in downtown. And then West Hollywood, I mean, like, just like put it all together. Yeah, can and have a do giant one? pride for the entire every weekend or every day yeah. for the month of June. It used to be one, and then we we're like, no, we're going to annex ourselves. And uh, Ricky Martin is performing. I will be going to see that. Yeah, I like to see Ricky Martin. I do too. I would love to see that. And then we also have, I think Muna is performing. I like them. Um, and top it off with. Jojo Siwa. Oh, oh, yeah. Who knew? With her new look, honey. Oh, she created Pride, Mama. Oh, yes, honey. <laughs> She's a new woman. She is full, like, a, a metal, like, headbanger, mm-hmm. goth, Pride. Flying squirrel. Flying squirrel. Yeah. She's everything, Mama. Yes, she is. It, it, it's a lot. And I did see an ad, and and you know what? I People know how I feel about Jojo Siwa. Uh, a lot of people in the comments are like, leave her alone. She's 21. And I'm like, that's old enough. <laughs> that's old enough to be bullied. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no, first of all, I figure, like, also people are complaining about bullying the I Kardashian know. child mm-hmm. that was singing. Listen, if you want to be in the public eye, you want to be on stage, and you, ne- you needed to take the good the good critiques and the bad critiques. And suck it up. This is it Hollywood, up. kid. This is show business. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a critic. Everyone's a critic and get with it. I know, uh, but on... Uh, so but don't she- attack me. <laughs> Don't attack, don't attack him. Me. Don't just attack me. Like in the comments. No, I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm a humble detective trying to solve the Abbey mystery. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. That's for like Nancy Drew novel, Pete Zeiss in the case of the <laughs> the confused Abbey or the haunted Abbey. The haunted Abbey. Um, but they are giving away fifty percent discount tickets for Jojo Siwa. Oh well, Karma's a bitch. <laughs> I kind of want to go. To see JoJo, but like hide, like I would be like a disguise. I'd be like a bush. You should dress up like her. Work and then like really confuse everyone. Confuse yes. her, or I could dress up as like Jar Jar Binks <laughs> as JoJo Siwa, Jar Jar Siwa, and be <laughs> not Jar Jar Siwa. <laughs> Ooh, Jar Jar Siwa. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing that to that poor girl. You're bullying her. And Jar Jar. Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks went through it. He was the first he, one to ever be socially, <laughs> social media bullied. I mean, it. hogtied. Poor, and, poor thing. They ripped him out of the whole series. Yeah. All he was just trying to live in his underworld, outer space, sea world. Meanwhile, that entire movie is bonkers. I have no idea what's going on in that movie. And then they're picking on that poor, whatever that thing is, sea creature, sea monkey. <laughs> well, Jaja Shiva. Um... But uh, I would, I want to see if it's a one song because she just has one song as, that I know of. I don't know any of her songs. She apparently performed, I want to say maybe over the weekend. I could be wrong, but like in the UK, it was on TikTok or recently. And they said that she spent 15 minutes talking. She was just doing a monologue oh, yeah. during her set. She was using the um, vernacular of 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 queer culture, she was calling people the c word, uh, mother effers. Oh my goodness, she's all grown up. Letting everyone know that she's she all grown up. is grown. Yeah, not the c word. Yeah, JoJo c word. Yeah, JoJo c word. <laughs> <laughs> That's gone too far. It really has. But uh, we will keep you updated. I mean, next week I'll give you a full report on how LA Pride uh, went. But uh, let's get into some stories, shall yes. we? What is on your mind? Because you are, I think, you 
you as are very much a pop culture guru. I'm a pop culture yes. guru. I'm a tabloid aficionado. Yes. Um, I've been, you know, I've, I love the, like, the old, ta- like the, you know, not going online. I like a Star magazine. magazine. And they're very hard to find nowadays. I spend most of my time, that's why I can't go to any prides. I spend most of my time going to grocery, to grocery store, to grocery store, to try to find an inquirer. Yeah. Inquirer, the Glow, s- sun. The star. Uh, my, like, I used to read them all growing up. And I, uh, me a couple, too. A couple of summers ago, I was in my parents' storage unit, and I found 30 years of tabloids. I mean, my parents kept all of them. And I don't know who, like, I mean, somebody in my family is a, a hoarder. Well, yeah. And it's not me. No. And there's only three of us, so it's my, that leads my my parents. Somebody is a hoarder. Did some of those stories jump out at you Did, that oh, you got to revisit them. them again? Well, you know, a lot of them is always about, like, who and who's gay, which they can't, like, they really don't, I don't think they really do that anymore. Because everyone's gay now. Everyone's gay We've got so many prides. Yeah. Allegedly, everyone is gay. Lots of OJ, um, which is like, I don't care about that story. Yeah. It was so like, you know, the, the 90s are very OJ. Um, um, and then, of course, Jean Benet came into the picture. Yeah. But there's so many good stuff. Like, yeah. But I brought like a couple of current tabloids. Sure. I don't even know like what is in the tabloids. I feel like it's like a woman without makeup. Well, and they're like, there's she's this depressed. woman with makeup. You have tabs. Priscilla's desperate battle to save Junkie Son. But this, there's a story in here that I like, and it's not about a celebrity. It's about a Florida celebrity. You have like a full on like high school like binder. Like you have the the well, subjects. Well, thank you. Yeah. What are those? What are those mean? The pink and the yellow. No, these are just some of my favorite stories. That like some of my favorite stories. Okay. That I still can't find. That's fine. Take um, your time. No, there's a great, there's a couple of stories I wanted to share with you. And one of them is about those um, uh, two Florida towns are monkeying around, those raging packs of monkeys attacking Florida. Mm-hmm. And um, and I just thought maybe you would love to, like, you know, look at this woman. Her name is um, Amy Kurt, and she went bananas when she sighted monkeys in her neighborhood. And I don't know why the monkeys are there, but they're, they're attacking this woman. Oh, yeah. This is important to me. Two Florida towns monkey around. That's my pride. And, oh, well, you know what? At least it's not ripping her face off, you know? Well, not yet. That was Oprah. Not yet, honey. Not yet. There's another one in Florida where this gator, this knock, knock, who's there? Alligator, alligator, who? Alligator, I'm going to eat you. It's a gator knocks on this woman's door. What? Yes, I did. Look, I know there's other things going and on. And she answered? Why, honey, it's Florida. I know. <laughs> Look, I know there's other things going on in the world, and I don't know what they are, but you know, I do know what's going on in Florida. Do you know what's really funny is that there was a story that came out today about this stingray. Have you heard of this stingray named Charlotte? <laughs> from Sex and the... And, from, and no. just like that? No, the fil- she dissolved the filler. <laughs> she dissolved... She- <laughs> She's back. No, but Charlotte, the stingray, apparently was impregnated by a shark. And they did a sonogram on the on Charlotte and found shark stingrays in her, like hybrids. Oh, my God. And then today, like, the internet went crazy. Like, TikTok was like, oh, my God, Charlotte's going to have shark rays. I was like, okay, I like a shark ray. And then today they were like, no, it was all made up. It was a hoax. And I'm just like, this came out on E! News. No, I believe We that. have no more celebrities. It's gators, monkeys, and stingrays. It's gators, monkeys, stingrays, and Munchausen. Yeah. <laughs> There's like no star. The stars are gone, honey. The stars, the stars are gone. Are gone. And the quality is gone. <laughs> there, there's also about like, you know, there's people that dress up as furries. Well, there's yes. a furry convention. It talks about it in this magazine where they've gone absolutely crazy. As wearing, opposed to? <laughs> um, even more crazy. They're okay. wearing diapers. Oh. Because they don't want, there's such a long line to go to the restroom and they're getting drunk and having sex at the ho- and destroying the hotels at the convention. And I think that's so sad. Well, what else would they expect a pack of, like, gay men to dr- that dress up like dogs to do? Are, are gays and are gay furries? Yeah. Oh, I didn't There was know. a whole float yesterday with, like, guys with the dog masks on, and it makes me happy because I'm like, I see you. Fur freaks bag for bad behavior. Look at them. Yeah, where is this? If it's Florida, I no, sense I think a it's theme. Like Seattle. Which is... Okay, that tracks. Or, or yeah, yeah. So these furries, yeah, are wearing diapers. But you know what? Don't shame them. You know who else wore diapers? Swifties. Taylor Swift fans. 
Thank you. So don't shame the furries. I'm wearing a diaper now because Work. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go down to the LA Pride after this uh-huh. and just get into a good spot for JoJo Siwa. Perfect. And camp out. Camp out in my diaper and my JoJo Siwa <laughs> diaper. Just bedazzled with uh, bows. Uh-huh. Perfect. And plays music too. Plays her 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 song. Oh God. So. Let's get into some stories this week because we have a plethora of them. Mm-hmm. Um, over the weekend was Pride Kickoff. June 1st, ka-ka-ka! rainbows, <laughs> brand sponsorships, <laughs> everywhere. Um, and Adele had a concert mm-hmm. where everyone said yes, ally, yes, queen for standing up for the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, Adele shut down a heckler at her Vegas concert, she heard this guy say, pride sucks in the crowd. She said, what's up, babe? She said, pride sucks in my own fucking concert. Are you bonkers? Um, I can't believe you'd even do that. You're so stupid. Um, So she like went off, flipped her hair um, and carried on with the show. So that kind of went viral and everyone's like, ooh, damn. And you know, this guy was humiliated and now he's been humiliated on social media. And it came out today that that's not what the guy said at all. <laughs> the guy apparently said, work sucks. He was like, oh, I don't know what it was in reference to, but it was, he, she was saying something like, oh, work sucks. He works at Pride. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Those There's street, so many of them. Those street hot dogs, said. yeah. And he's like, oh, work sucks. And she goes, did you say she was talking about Pride and Pride Month? And then, <laughs> yeah. And then he said, work sucks. And she's like, did you say Pride sucks at me own show? Oh, my God. 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 Yeah. So that has been clarified. I'm sure he will be on Good Morning America tomorrow <laughs> to state his case. And give him a show. And really tell him what he meant by that. Yeah, yeah. Work sucks. But uh, I, 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 I do appreciate that. I had a... Uh, a show here over the weekend, and it was everybody who was not at the festival. <laughs> it was a plethora of people um, from a 90-year-old couple from Mississippi in the oh, front row wearing shorts. So cute. Who did not know it was Pride Weekend. Good for them. Yeah. And um, I was like, did you guys know it was Pride Weekend? And she said no, and he said yes. Oh. And I went, ooh. Mm. Do you guys know Diplo? <laughs> um, but... Keeping up with our uh, L- uh, LGBT allies, this guy. How are we feeling about Cher's boyfriend? Oh, I, uh, the um, music producer. I like him. Sometimes uh-huh. when I'm going through the tablets, I think it's, she's dating Chris Brown. But then I like I get a close. I get my magnifying glass out no. and I take a look. Well, um, oh, you think he looks like Chris yeah, Brown? Yeah, because they both have that blonde hair. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but I think I like them together. Yeah, his name is Alexander A. E. Edwards. Uh huh. Um, and he is letting everyone know that Cher has his back no matter what. Yes. The executive. He is a music executive. Thirty eight. Uh, told TMZ an update on his relationship with the 78-year-old music icon following his, following his physical altercation with Travis Scott at a May 23rd party at Cannes. I didn't know that happened. Yeah, they're going to do a fight. Like, um, what is going on with Cannes? And the Cannes trash. That security guard it's, is just tackling everybody. Fighting with these women on the on the red car, on the stairs. Oh, I wish one of them would just push her over and she push her over went down like Scarlett O'Hara and gone with the wind. Yeah, just knock her down. I mean, I mean, everything's trash anymore. We've completely. You can't even have glamour at Cannes. People yeah. are fighting. Yeah, we need to put Cannes in the trash can. <laughs> It is like over. Like you don't like piss off Kelly Rowland, and no. I don't want Kelly Rowland looking at a security guard saying, "I am not a child." That's right. Like, oh, when you have like, like, like deaf people on TikTok and people who can read lips, that's my new favorite thing. Oh, like, I love it lip too. reading. Yes. Uh, like telling you what Kelly Rowland says. Then some girl got tackled yes. wearing like Jesus on the back of her dress, and then a like a K-pop star mm-hmm. got tased in the neck, and like. <laughs> What's it's going too on much. there? I don't get it. I had no idea that they got into a fight at Cannes. Yeah. Travis Scott and uh, Alexander A. E. Edwards. So when he asked if Cher was upset about his actions at Cannes, he said, quote, hell nah. Before quoting <laughs> lyrics from Future and Metro Boomin's GTA to ensure things between the pair are all good. Like Future say, 
whatever I'm with, my bitch with it too. Woo! I think that's so sexy. Poetry. Oh, I want someone to talk to me like that. Mm -hmm. The rapper then clarified his vulgar comments, saying, quote, my woman, but the lyrics are the lyrics. Edwards brushed off inquiries of any, quote, wedding bells ringing soon, but affirmed his romance with Cher is still going strong. Hey, bro, listen, we happy. We're a happy family, he told the outlet. Oh, oh. Cher. Do you think she's going to marry him? Like, a really, really, like, get married, like, legally? I don't know. I don't know either. Sometimes when, when celebrity divas get old, they're, they're like, they get married again. Mm hmm I don't know, because I'm getting... Married? No, I'm not getting married. <laughs> but I I do think it's giving me, like, Anna Nicole vibes. Oh, my gosh. Now where it's like Howard, the manager, and he's allegedly not taking care of her like he should. Yeah. Like, I feel like, I feel like he cares about her. But you don't call Cher a bitch. No. Cher calls you a bitch. That's right. That's right. You're the bitch. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. the bitch. I'm not the bitch. Get over here, bitch. Do you think they have... I think they're intimate, yeah? Yeah. Do you I, think they're uh, like... Uh, do you think uh, they do like... Do you think they I do think, like missionary? Yeah. I think they... All of it. I think Cher's favorite is, of course, Wagon Wheel Watusi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I like this relationship. I, I think it's I'm, healthy. I'm, I'm like here for it. I just, I, I'm looking out for Cher. I don't want her to get duped. Well, this, I just, he has a lot of money, though, I'm assuming, right? Because mm. he's like a pro music producer. I guess so. Yeah, she's spoken quite fondly of Edwards, despite those concerned about the couple's 40 year age gap. Cher said, Alexander's got diamond teeth, tattoos, white hair, and he's way younger. He's a beautiful man. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee told People in October 23. Oh, I think this is going to last forever. Mm -hmm. And I just think that, you know, Sherry's no <clears throat> dummy. You can't push her around. And I think She is, looks happy. She looks the happiest I've ever seen her. her do you see her wearing that old, uh, she was performing at Cannes, and the, um, if I could turn back time, costume. Like actual, the actual the one? The actual costume. A little bit modified, so it doesn't show like her rear end. But, I mean, she was skipping around. She looked so good. Yeah, I think, I think Cher's happy. Oh, we want Cher to be happy. We want Cher to be happy, and I want to be happy. I'll date him, too. Yeah. We could be in a throuple. <laughs> you in a throuple with Cher? He could call me a bitch. He could call you a bitch, yeah. Call Pete a bitch. Oh, mm. no. I, oh. Okay, so... Oh. It's not a weekly episode of the Just Saying Podcast without a story about Jennifer Lopez. I mean, uh... Benifer. They don't even call them Benifer anymore, which I don't understand. I don't I don't know why we're even calling them. Why are we picking up the phone? Because <laughs> Be they won't stop calling them. Oh, they it. won't. I mean, I wish we could... We, I mean, block. Block the call. Now, over the weekend, share a now... Share. <laughs> <laughs> Now, over the weekend, Jennifer Lopez announced that she is officially canceling mm -hmm. her This Is Me Now, the tour, uh, her summer long tour that she tried to sell out. She and, tried. And it just, did you watch the This Is Me Now? Oh, honey, You had to have. I went to the screening with, with the, the director of it who <gasps> made it. And what did they think? <laughs> well, he introduced it, Dave Myers. I went to this like house in the Hollywood Hills, me and Drew, uh, and um, at this like someone had like a like a screening room, this giant like screening room in their house. I have no idea whose house this was, and we all watched it. Afterwards, I'm like, what in the hell is this? But out loud? No. Okay. I mean, you have to be like. Oh, no, no, no. The, the, then this we went downstairs art. to the open bar and the hors d'oeuvres yes. and chowed down and then got in the car and sped away and said, what the, the hell is that? that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I felt like, I mean, I would have had to leave. I would have oh, had I to have left. I was biting my oh, um, yes, shirt. Yes, I can't look. People look at me. The people who know me know that I, like, say things without saying them mm -hmm. like i'll just give a look or like mm -hmm. a like i can you can read my face eyes. i do yeah. not have a poker face at uh -huh. all i'll just be like mm. Mm. the people like justin stop it i'm like i'm not doing anything i if i was in a screening room of of that movie it would be over oh it was 
a lot to handle. I mean, it was like the discipline that I had to have to keep it all inside. It was I feel like I was back in church as a child. You yeah. Know, you want to laugh and you can't. Yeah. But I did see it, and of course, I also watched the making of it. The, the <sighs> love, this love, the love story that's never been told. That's mm. why. That's what I call it. I mean, yeah, yeah. Something like JoJo like Siwa, no one's ever done this before. Yeah, Jennifer yeah. Lopez, no one's done this before. She like, and now I mean. After trying to like, first of all, the, the original title of the tour was "This Is Me Now," the tour. But yeah. then the album flopped, and so then they just called it "This Is greatest Me," hit. the greatest hit. Yeah, the greatest hit. Like what hit, honey? Waiting for tonight. Waiting to sell tickets. Oh, waiting for a refund. Thank you. <laughs> and also, everyone is on tour. We yeah. spent, everyone spent their money on Beyonce, Madonna, Taylor Swift, honey. This isn't the summer. This isn't it. This is not the summer. And she did a tour, and I hate to say this. I went and saw Jennifer Lopez. I was. It was Prides Ago. I want to say it was <laughs> yesterday. Two or three Prides Ago. Uh -huh. And it was her 50th birthday. Yeah, that's right. And she was at the forum. And I was really. It was right after she did um, that movie, Hustlers, Hustlers, where uh -huh. she was a stripper and she like She's came really out on a pole. That. She was great, did she, and she was mad she didn't get an Oscar. Mm -hmm. Really <laughs> mad about it. Pissed, so pissed to this yeah. day. And um, I just remember it was I was stuck there and it was going to be kind of bad when the screen pops up for the concert to start and she's in her bed and she everything's pink and her hair is like laid out on the bedding and it's overhead and she wakes up and she goes oh it's my birthday <laughs> and that's how the show started the show starts. yeah she's like i gotta get ready i'm from the bronx and i'm like oh, okay we waiting get for it. tonight yeah that was it roll the credits now <laughs> Not only did she do that movie, I uh, hate watched Atlas. Oh God! Did you see Atlas? Well, I saw clips of her with that curly wig stuck in that um, that cockpit. Yeah, shaking and yes, can't find her eye line. No, she can't do it at all. But um, I found out I was watching this movie and I'm like, something's off. So she does this thing where she like is talking about the past. It, the movie's pretty much about how Jennifer Lopez can't um, support AI. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she's like, I can't, I, I can't connect fully to AI because I don't trust it. And my mom, my mom always told me. And I'm like, wait, your mom, what are you talking about? Jennifer Lopez is a 54 year old woman in this movie playing a 35 year old woman. Oh, yeah. What? She always likes to play young. Even in that, um, the, um, all, what's it called again? This Is Me Now. This Is movie. Me Now, the movie. All of her friends are like in their 20s and yeah. 30s. And yeah. She doesn't know any of their names. Uh -uh. She's like, hey. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to bother to learn names. No, I mean. And that's like me. I can't remember anybody's name. I get it. But I will say that I watched Atlas and there is a scene in the movie where she is an analyst in the, in the film. She's got analyst hair. You know, it's all like out of place and she's got glasses on. She's like, I'm just an analyst from the Bronx, you know. <laughs> and then they're like, J-Lo, you have to go into space and retrieve uh, 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 Simu Lu. And she's like, OK, I'll do it. So J-Lo gets shot into space and I wish the credits rolled. <laughs> I rewound that scene like I was Helen from Death Becomes Her before she took the potion watching Madeline Ashton getting choked. <laughs> I was just like, Doo -doo -doo -doo. J Lo getting shot into space. And J Lo went through it. She broke her femur. And I was kind of like, <laughs> I love that you call her J Lo and not her character's the character name. I didn't know she had a character name. I think her name. Oh, no, her name was Atlas. There it is. Oh, she's Atlas. She's a of course she's Atlas. Oh, of course. Of yes. course. Uh, yes. Uh, Atlas from the block. Atlas from, Atlas from the moon. <laughs> oh, man. It was just bad. It's literally J-Lo in a car talking to her OnStar op operator the entire time. <laughs> That's all it was. But like high tech. It was a robot. She's like talking to no one. And they're like, Atlas. Please, you have to upgrade to like control the entire robot. She's like, I just don't know if I can, robot. I just don't know if I can. Like, oh, honey, she can't say no. She, I mean, but she needs to. But she needs to take a break. Well, she said no now that the tour is postponed. The tour, or canceled. Well, and she's heart sick. Heart sick. She's heart sick. I don't know what that means. It means she has worms <laughs> in her heart. 
Um, just like RFK Jr. has worms in his brain. Jennifer Lopez. Uh, this town's, there's no more stars in Hollywood. No. Just worms. No, waiting. Just worms. Just worms. Waiting for the worms. Waiting for the worms. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you had my grubs. Yeah, like totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Sick. So now Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck have deliberately avoided locking lips. This picture, I haven't seen this picture. This picture is crazy. It's wild. He does not look at his, he looks like a Muppet. He doesn't want to like kiss her. It's, it's, I mean, he looks, he looks, uh, he's been hitting the booze. What I'm going to say. What is going on? Like, I mean, why don't they just end it? Why don't they just pull the plug? Because, the, well, they need to pull that hair extension that's <laughs> popping out of her back of her head that someone is losing their job over. <laughs> Look at that. Remember when it fell out when she was performing on Saturday Night Live? A big clump of it mm-hmm. fell out when she was performing. Mm-hmm. Oh, all the stress. Of don't Jennifer. be fooled by the locks that she's got. <laughs> They'll pop right out. <laughs> so she, okay, there are so many rumors going around about JLo and Ben Affleck. Are they living together? Are they divorcing? What's happening? Apparently, she has moved or he has moved. I'm not sure which. They've moved into two separate homes because that's how Hollywood deals with divorce and breakups. Just go to the other home. Okay. He's renting a $100,000 a month home next uh-huh. to Jennifer Garner. And it's huge. It's, that's like not something she would just rent if mm-hmm. you're like just taking a break from your marriage. Mm-hmm. That's like, I'm done. That's what I think. When you move next door to your ex-wife, <laughs> you don't want to be married to her, but you can like share a fence with her. Like, but apparently, like Jennifer's mad that when I read in the tabloids, so you know it's true that mm-hmm. Jennifer's mad that he Ben goes to Jennifer Garner for like to get advice. That makes sense, and she doesn't like that. Well, I would. And Jennifer Lopez needs to go to Jennifer Garner for advice so she can stop making these crazy movies and do Capital One commercials. Yeah, what's in your card? <laughs> Or what's in your wallet? I couldn't do it. Atlas. Um, But can we please get the biopic or at least the Lifetime original movie uh, between two Jennifers? That would be... (sighs) My gosh. (laughs) We need that. Jennifer Uh on Jennifer. Uh Uh-huh. Like, give it the... Give it that... uh, What is it? The... Who does the, the, the... Celebrity on celebrity interview. Is that variety? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollywood Reporter, maybe. Uh, something like One that. Yeah, them. Jennifer on Jennifer. And they Jennifer just interview each other. Uh, About Ben. Yeah, in like white slash neutral furniture oh, yes. and outfits. Like they're in heaven. But uh, they're not even like kissing anymore. They're, uh, they, uh, they deliberately avoided locking lips in public when they met up in Santa Monica for... His son's, his 12-year-old son Samuel's basketball game. They're always going to some of his children's, like, like, what is going on? These kids are too busy. They're always going to something with one of their children. (laughs) Recitals, plays, basketball games. I mean... That's called parenting. Oh well, that's why I don't. I'm, uh, that's why I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have them. Yeah. I, well, I lost one. Oh. I had one. I lost them at Pride. Okay. My daughter, Lumina. I lost her at Pride. Oh, if you or someone you know has seen Pete's Lost Twink, <laughs> please call the number at the bottom of your screen now. We'll put flyers up. Thank you. Don't startle the Twink. Please it's, help. Yeah, it's very please on edge. Please help me. Um, but I, here's the thing. They say, despite the noteworthy lack of PDA, the duo appeared to be in good spirits as they were joined by Affleck's mother, Ann Bolt. Well, why isn't her name Affleck? Why isn't it Ann Affleck? I don't believe uh, this something is askew. She, Anne's, Anne's undercover. Because she, Anne doesn't need the word Affleck. She's trying to hint to her son that he needs to bolt from this marriage. Yes, get out of here. Well, Anne I read that she bolt. never liked her the first time. Uh, the first time we had Jennifer. My yeah. mother never liked Jennifer. Yeah, I mean, look, here's the thing. You never walk in front of your mother-in-law. Well, she they, she clear, they clearly don't like each other. And they, also, oh, no. Thing, Jennifer Lopez, she looks like she's on Ozempic. She's got to be on Ozempic. No, no, no. She's on J-Lo Zempic. <laughs> Zempic. I'm sure she'll sell her own. She sells everything. Yeah. Liquor, uh, facial spray, bras. Uh, she can't stop, like, working. How much money does she need? Yeah. It is, it is kind of... Yeah. And here's another hint. When you're still comparing... Like, I love that page six... They still call her the Waiting for Tonight singer. That movie, I'm sorry, that song came out in 1999. Honey, it's stuck in your head. We're all waiting for tonight. I know, we're, we're waiting, all waiting. waiting and waiting. And um, 
I think the next thing we're going to hear about, now that they've ended the, she made the announcement about the tour, we're going to hear about the announcement of the ending of the marriage. You think so? I think so. You just oh think... God, look at Jennifer Garner's hat. I mean, Jennifer Garner... She's like Michael Jackson with those loafers and that <sighs> and those high, those high waters. Yeah. Is that Michael Jackson? I don't know, but this is a woman who clearly loves to go to Montana just to wine taste. And I'm kind of here for it. No, like, she's so much easier breezier than Jennifer Lopez. She is. She's just a cool vibe. Yeah. She doesn't have to, like, be plucked and sucked and... <laughs> Plucked and sucked? Not during Pride, Justin. My my twink is out there missing. Waiting for tonight. Oh, plucked and sucked here. You know what I mean? Just like, I mean, look, it's like the buckle, the the snatch, the put the fat here and take it from there, you know. Jennifer just looks like she's the real Jennifer Garner from the block. Jennifer Garner is the real Jenny from the block. Yeah, she is. She is. Oh, I wish them well. Do we? No. <laughs> Go away. No. Will they I, come back around the third time, you think? Is, oh, is this God. the end? I feel like J-Lo just needs to go away for a bit, much like our next story, Lenny Kravitz's uh, sex life. Oh, Lenny man. Kravitz. I had no idea. Lenny Kravitz has revealed that he is celibate. No, though this is why I think he's celibate. During he's, Pride Month? <laughs> that's crazy. And also to bring it up during Pride Month. I know. That's homophobic. He's been celibate. How don't I mean, how long do you think he's been celibate for? Don't look, don't look, don't look. Um, don't look, don't look. Six months. Six months? Yeah. Final answer? Final answer. Close ten years. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. Well, that's because he's so intimidating. His body is too intimidating that no one's hitting on him. You think that's what it is? Well, what do you think it is? I don't know. Cult. 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 I just oh, saw that yeah. TikTok 7M thing where they're all in a cult. With that dance. I don't know if you've seen it uh -uh. or not. Oh, yeah. There's like a whole dance cult happening on TikTok. I want to belong. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Some I of the like kids are still missing to this day, oh, well, but whatever. We'll find them at some yeah, point. We'll find not. another uh, TikToker to follow. <laughs> but um, Kravitz explains that he's not been in a serious relationship for nine years, noting he's been celibate as he awaits the right woman. He says, yes, it's a spiritual thing. Mm. He says he'd love to be in a relationship now, but he thinks he might struggle. He says, I've become very set in my ways in the way I live. Ha. Huh. But that's somebody that's had so much sex mm -hmm. that they're like, I'm, 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 I need to take a break. Like mm -hmm. a 10 year break for him is like nothing because he had so much sex in the last 30, 40 years. I think, I oh, mean, there's... and I just <laughs> feel like, I felt like he's very like sexually fluid as well. So yeah, maybe he hasn't met the right woman, but maybe a guy can come up to him and be like, are you going to go my way? You I'll know be, what I mean? I'll, I'll hit on him. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll be his spotter when he's lifting weights in the jungle with leather pants. You yes, know, like, remember yes. that when oh, they yes. split. And he's, oh, and that that bird came out. Honey, that, that pierced bird. bird. Yes. Oh my that god. That American woman what? just popped out. I oh, mean, yeah, mm, Lisa and just Bonet was like, so, bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, he did a duet with his bird headed. I mean, live at that palooza. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. oh, he should perform at Pride. He really should. Those pants, Bye, Ricky. I mean, that could be on the gay Coachella. Lenny Kravitz's leather pants, like oh, just the pants, just ripped. the pants. Yeah. Oh, but um, he says, uh, let's see. He said he's doing it in a spiritual way because he is. He opted for the path, he says, is due to the sins of his father, who was a known cheater. Mm -hmm. In his memoir, he writes of overhearing his father on the phone talking to a woman, despite being married to his father. Oh, my God. Kravitz revealed his father was having an affair. The affair was one of many his father had. He was devastated. Uh, he confronted his father about it. His father replied that he'd end up doing the same thing. And apparently that woman was Jennifer Lopez. Waiting God for it. tonight. Home wrecker. She um, is everywhere. Everywhere. She just can't. She destroyed my marriage. Go away. She's 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 out. She's like the Bloody Mary of marriages. You know, you like turn the lights out. You look into a mirror and say <laughs> Jennifer Lopez five times, and your marriage is over. over. <laughs> if you want your marriage to to be over, you want to get a divorce. Do that. Yeah. Light a candle. Yeah. Look into the mirror. You could put on Waiting for Tonight, but put it like Volume Three. <laughs> Just like a subtle, and Jennifer Lopez will ruin your marriage. Oh. 
Um, and Kravitz and Lisa Lisa Bonet, that was mm-hmm. his ex-wife, mm-hmm. they share a daughter, Zoe Kravitz, mm-hmm. who is phenomenal in everything she does. Mm-hmm. They she's remain, a director now. Yeah, she's, God, she's so good. Yeah. They remain close friends and co-parents. But, I mean, we got to get Lenny laid. laid. Well, this is the this is the month for it, honey. Yeah. So if you want Lenny laid, if you can't find Pete's twink, if you want to see Lenny Kravitz laid <laughs> for five cents a day, <laughs> can we just play the Sir McLaughlin song and slow mo his pants ripping on stage? <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, Lenny. I know. You need you need to enjoy life. <sighs> and me and Justin are here to help you. I, I mean, we, we want to see that happen. Okay, now this is a crazy story. So it sure is. Turkish, uh, this is hard to say. Turkish surgeon reveals an insane transformation and pictures after the procedure. Now, this is apparently the same person. Wait a second. I will. This is AI. Is it? This is Atlas. Yep. <laughs> this yep. is Ben Affleck. <laughs> this is me now. <laughs> I mean, that looks great. I mean, I here I don't get it. Okay, so apparently this surgeon completely transformed this guy right here, this man's face, after performing a facelift, neck lift, lower eyelid, blifer what? A blepharoplasty? What? I I would be out of the spelling bee. Blepharopas <laughs> blepharoplasty? Where's that? I don't even know where a blephora is. Oh. What? Eyelid. 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 Just say eyelid. Good God. Upper eyelid, buckle fat removal, rhinoplasty, and hair transplant procedures. Or he could have just saved all this and just call it sucked and plucked. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, this is the definition of sucked and plucked. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people are saying, um, this is two different people. Well, he looks like that comedian. I, you know, I can't remember anybody's name. You know what I'm talking about? Tom Sandoval? <laughs> Yeah, that, that's it. Tom Sandoval. That's Tom Sandoval. <laughs> With a T, Tom yeah. Sandoval. That's Tom Sandoval. That's Tom Sandoval. I, I mean, this is going. I mean, the guy on the left looks like the guy who picks you up in the black <laughs> SUV at 3 a.m. on Uber. He takes you to LAX. Yeah, yeah. I, I he takes him. you to LAX. The guy on the right. Well, I also like this comment that somebody wrote. They said, good in you, mate. Flip the script on these women out here. What? Yeah, that was Adele. <laughs> <laughs> good on you, mate. You don't say fuck pride at me show. <laughs> um, now, Lan, our producer, Lan, said that there's truth in the ears. Mm-hmm, yeah. Says if you can't find out exactly what's been worked on, look at the ears. Now, he says that I'm looking... That there's a little freckle in the middle of this guy, the guy in the left's ear. And then on the right, there's not. Yeah. But I, I kind of see it. I Wait, that think, is a freckle, right? I don't think this is There's the a small person. rubbed out freckle. Well, the ear looks kind of different. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Is it though? Now that I look at it, they do look alike. But how old is this man? Because in the picture on the right, he looks like... A hundred? No, the guy, well, the guy on the, oh, the left, left yeah, yeah, he looks like he's probably, what, like in his 60s? Okay. Late 60s? He's not Hollywood 60s. No, but the guy on the right, is that the same guy, but in his 60s? Yeah, I mean, Snatched. They, but what does the rest of his body look like? It's going to be like <gasps> old at the bottom and young at the top, and nothing turns me on more. Than a Surprise. hidden illusion. Yes. yes. Like, oh, I'm taking this hot guy home Ooh. from East Hollywood Pride. Yeah, e- e- Pride had it. Mm, and Go then back over to West Hollywood Pride. Yeah, take off your shirt and then pudding and Ooh. yeah. Oh. Pudding and pox. Oh, and then you suck and pluck. Mm, all night. All happy Pride. Happy Pride. We see you. We You're brave. See. Yeah. I um this brought up a whole a uh, trunk full of memories in my early 2000s aughts reality television called The Swan. <gasps> oh, I love Do The Swan. Do we remember The Swan? Yes. If you don't know, I had this conversation with somebody maybe like two or three weeks ago about like full 
facial reconstruction. And I was like, do you remember the swan? And they were like, no, what was that? I'm like, the swan was everything. It came on like right after, like, I want to say American Idol. It was yeah, something uh -huh. like the first. It was on Fox. It was on Fox where like Fox reality TV was trash. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was like to tell the truth where they would like ruin people on television in front of their loved ones for money. There was the other one where the woman got, they, they got married. You know what I'm Joe talking about? Joe Millionaire? There no. Was, that that like, was one where there was like, was the guy really a millionaire? Oh yeah, there's, but there's one where like, they, like they, he marries them on the spot or something like that. I forget. With that oh, blonde woman. Ah, uh, yes. Um, yes. It was like, it was like full on, um, it was before 90 Day Fiance, yeah, but yeah, it was uh -huh. like, yeah, Married at First Sight. Was I, that I it? I think it might have been that. Something yeah, yeah. like that. But it was a reality show. Yeah. Um, but The Swan <sighs> took like eight garbage piles. <laughs> 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 and I mean, what a social experiment. These These average women, some of them were, you know, some of them were very unfortunate looking. And took them, kidnapped them from their families, gave them new smiles, new noses, new hair, new tits, like made them work out like hamsters on a treadmill. Um, and they couldn't see themselves in a mirror for like eight weeks. <laughs> While it healed. While it healed. They couldn't see anything that they had done. Um, and then at the very end, they said, stand in front of this curtain they pulled the curtain and their whole family and friends are there. And you see the woman see her face for the first time in eight weeks. And she's a completely different person. And the family, some of them were very happy. Some were like, where's mom? <laughs> <laughs> and and um, then on top of it all, they had to compete in a pageant <laughs> where the winner, I don't know what the hell the winner got, but I'll tell you what they all got, a beautiful set of Da Vinci veneers. Oh, and it's all worth da it. Da Vinci veneers. Uh, I see Jennifer Lopez. She's one of them. Yep, yep. She's everywhere. Yeah, she is everywhere. Jennifer Lopez is like, did someone say swan? <laughs> <laughs> she comes out and just swan in her next tour. I remember the first time I saw a swan in the Bronx. Get out. There's no swans in the Bronx, J-Lo. Get out. Those are pigeons. If you know, you know. Yeah. Oh, God. So it just gave me that type of a throwback. And if you have not seen The Swan, I'm sure you can like Google it. It's probably on YouTube. Oh, it has to be. It was such a trip. But I also have a confession to make. During COVID, I had a little work done. Oh. Um, and I took a trip to Turkey. And um, I got some work done. Oh. And I... I'm coming clean. I don't need to be on Patreon to do this. I want to be authentic. I want to be true to myself. Here is my before and after picture of my <laughs> surgery after Turkey. And I, it's just, oh. I had some buckle fat. I had some blepharoplasty done. Um, and I just, it was just a casual highlight. You look great. Thank you. And of course, Da Vinci veneers. Oh, honey, yes. that is money worth spent. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the doctor did say to exercise regularly and to lay off my favorite candy, baby Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, if it can work for me, it can work for anyone. I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting a little nip tuck. When I was yeah. 14 years old, I had my ears pinned back. Really? Yes, yeah, so it was very painful. Really? Uh, what, the ears getting pinned back was painful or your ears in general <laughs> before? All of it. Really? And uh, they wrapped my head up. I'd never had surgery before. They wrapped it up. And I had to miss school for like eight weeks, which was great. But Madonna's Vogue had just come out. So, like, my head was unwrapped. And I um, was playing around with it so much that my ears swelled up like giant and black and so i had to stay home for school even longer but madonna's vogue came out so i was learning how to like vogue and i hit my uh stuff in the ear and it swelled up even more so i missed even more weeks of school and it was all worth it it was all worth it yeah yeah 
Did they put leeches on your ears? They so like they should have. Like just like that apothecary, you're like, uh, Mama, the leeches are giving suck. Suck it all, honey. You suck. gotta do what you gotta do for Hollywood, even though Hollywood's trash now, cans. Yeah. Worms. If I would have known that like at 14 that Hollywood would have been trash, I never would have would have done it. Yeah. Now you know. Now but I, I mean, know what can it. you do? And here's a story that is going to emphasize your take on Hollywood being trash. Zachary Quinto, who is a name we haven't heard in a while. No. Um, he is being criticized by the Toronto restaurant for reportedly yelling at a staff member there like an entitled child and making the host cry. So That's Spock. What a Spock indeed. Um, a Toronto restaurant's calling out Zachary Quinto on Sunday. Um Let's see. Manita on Ossington Avenue shared a message on Instagram calling the Star Trek actor an amazing Spock, but a terrible customer. He yelled at the staff like an entitled child after he didn't reply to two texts to inform him his table was ready and refused to believe the empty tables in the dining room weren't available for him, despite being politely informed they were spoken for. He made our host cry and the rest of our brunch diners uncomfortable. Uh, and he, which, oh, I'm glad they described the eatery as a Mediterranean-ish bistro. <laughs> There's nothing I love more. It's a Mediterranean-ish mm, yeah. bistro. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, so yeah, entitled celebrities and restaurants. Have you ever encountered an entitled celebrity in public? Oh gosh, I have seen celebrities at restaurants before, but I don't think I've ever seen them act bad. I once made eye contact with Ellen DeGeneres uh -oh. in a restaurant and turned to stone. <laughs> It was shocking. You know how blue her eyes are? Yes. Yeah, so I just remember looking and she like made eye contact with me and I was like, nah! like oh, full yeah. on Clash of the Titans. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Medusa. Yeah, it's like, nah! Medusa, Medusa DeGeneres. <laughs> um, no, I don't think I've ever had a bad experience with a celebrity. Well, I used to work at this, it wasn't a restaurant, but I used to work at this gym in New York, the Reebok Sports Club. And, um, High end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Rich people, celebrities. Mm -hmm. And so I would sit, I had to like check them in and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. would come in and he was Speaking not- Speaking of worms. He was not friendly. <laughs> he didn't want to ever show his ID. He doesn't want to get vaccinated. He doesn't want to show IDs. <laughs> and he was, his worm was in his brain. Yeah. And he was getting two- you know, getting a membership for two people. Yeah, did the, the worm. worm show his ID? No, that's mm. the problem. That's a shame. Um, but um, I've never seen, uh, one time I rushed on this woman- <laughs> took um, her baby and t changed its diapers right on the table. She wasn't a celebrity, but I'll act, I can lie and say it was Jennifer Lopez. I Yeah. I would actually go further and say it was Cher and her boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> it was She's changing his diaper, yes. Yeah. Just like, this is a song for the lonely. Just while she's changing her boyfriend's diaper. Um, here's an interesting story. Very. Nicki Minaj is calling Princess Diana <laughs> her dear friend. Well, I do that too. <laughs> people people are furious. Well, I People am. are furious because Nicki Minaj has seemed to ruffle some feathers during one of her latest stops on her Pink Friday 2 tour when she referred to the late Princess Diana as her dear friend. During her concert in Birmingham, UK, the Queen of Rap 41 asked for a moment of silence for the late princess who passed away in August 97. We know we saw the crown. <laughs> The odd moment came in between songs as Minaj spoke to a member of the audience who told her they were from Wales. A clip of <laughs> God, a clip of the scene shared to social media then showed Minaj switching to her British accent as she told the crowd, it always reminds me of a dear friend of mine. Well, she's not here anymore, but the Princess of Wales. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> she... Don't name names. The Princess of Wales. <laughs> God, Minaj has, was seen looking down and holding her microphone to her chest as the crowd grew quiet for several seconds because during Diana's tragic passing, Nicki Minaj was 14. Uh, Princess Diana loved um, um, the bass, that song. Super she bass? Super bass. She loves super bass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, baby. Uh I think that's the last song she was actually listening to well, the, in the Paris Tunnels. Well, that's why the, the car crashed. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Let's go to the beach. Let's go get away. 
Yeah. Nicki Minaj has been acting a little bit askew mm-hmm. lately. I don't know what's going on with her. Like, yeah. she got arrested in Amsterdam for bringing in marijuana, which is, like, so stupid. Like, but that Amsterdam. went away. Yeah. And then she, like, they, she got to the, she had to go to the perform here. But what do you think she means by this? Maybe, like, you know, like, all of us, maybe not all of us, but some of us as children had imaginary friends. Yeah, Maybe hers was Princess Diana. You know what it is? Worms. Worms. I she think probably has a worm in her brain. She's got fucking worms in her brain. Or in her booty. Who knew that when you join the Illuminati, they put a worm in your brain? Well, I knew. I knew. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, you know. So she apparently uh, remixed a song from Ice Spice called Princess Diana. The hit song, which was a top five hit on the Billboard Hot 100, includes lyrics like, when we came out, it looked like Princess Diana on the street. <gasps> How so? Like... Well, Walking or like with a sheet over her. Listen, people need to people <laughs> people need to leave that poor woman alone. I, she's like she has been through so much when she was alive, and I now, know. She, now that she's dead, they still won't leave her alone. I know it's just weird. She's just calling my phone, but they know I don't answer. In the hood, I'm like Princess Diana. Oh, Princess Diana. You know, first of all, Princess Diana was very paranoid that her phone was being um, bugged. And, oh yeah, yeah. And it's like they need to leave that poor woman alone. She's she went through so much, and then now Camilla Parker Bowles is now on the, the throne. It could have been Diana. Yeah. Oh, I can't. it's too much. <laughs> but are we going to see this in hip hop now, where Cardi B is like, "Oh my girl." Uh, Camilla, you know, are we going to have this, like, you have to pick so. your feud, like... I hope so. I hope if, if Nikki has Diana, then Cardi has Camilla. Cardi, Camilla, and Nikki, I Diana. Want, I Spice can have Fergie. I Spice, no. I Spice has to have Charlotte. Oh, yeah, Charlotte. Which is not the Stingray, <laughs> but the actual princess yes. to... Uh, William. William and Kate. William and Kate. Okay. Uh, more celebrity news. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's daughter, Shiloh, which, by the way, 18? Wow. I mean... I, God. What? I know. I know. She <laughs> files to drop Pitt from her surname on her 18th birthday. They hate him. They really do. Nothing says happy birthday like, fuck you, dad. <laughs> All because I guess you know that story. He sh- he shook Di- uh, not Diana. He shook <laughs> Angelina Jolie. He shook Diana to death. Yeah, that's why they hate uh, Brad Pitt. Yeah, no, but like he got into a fight with uh, them. Was that the only fight though on that airplane? Oh, about the winery. About the winery. Yes. Ugh. Fighting over a winery. I mean, if there's any other fight to have, I just mean, trash. I wish. I wish. It's just trash. I wish I could just f- have a Sutter home fight on a. Jet Suite. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting over my Bardos and James. <laughs> just, just like, you know, oh, let's let's taste the new reserve. Mm. You call this Chardonnay? <laughs> my wife is dead to me. Like, that's what I want. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's daughter has filed to change her name. She wants to drop Pitt from her surname. Someone familiar with the matter tells People magazine, confirmed in documents obtained by People, the teenager is requesting a new legal name, hoping to go by simply Shiloh Jolie. Well, it has a better ring to it. I kind of like it too. Shiloh Jolie. The documents were filed on uh, Monday, May 27th, which also happened to be Shiloh's 18th birthday. Uh, they've got six kids together, and these kids are all like adults now. That's so wild. Um, and I mean, they Shiloh just looks like the perfect mixture of she, both of them. She really does. Um, is she she? Oh, do we know? Is that the one? Is that the child? That's the child. Oh, <laughs> the child that was kind of you know ambiguous. I don't know. The pronouns of the Shiloh. Dancer. She's yes. a dancer. Yeah. Um, well, do you think Angelina, Angelina, I think she really turned all those children against Brad. I agree. I mean, my She's, God, she was Maleficent. <laughs> she, uh, I mean, from the beginning of us first discovering Angelina Jolie, she just has like a quality about her that's just sort of sinister. Yeah, she does have that like, oh, that's I'll, an awkward situation. I mean, I'll get what I want in the end. <laughs> You think this is going to end easily? <laughs> I am hardly a desperate female. <laughs> Has to have a cigarette, of course. <laughs> Just like, I've killed, and I'll do it again. Like, very much that. So, actually, Shiloh isn't the only child of the pit 
uh, Jolie clan to appear to go by a different name. Um, Vivian helped. Vivian's one of the twins. Vivian helped mom Jolie produce. The teenager is listed as Vivian Jolie instead of Vivian Jolie Pitt. Uh, we don't also know if Vivian's legally changed the name. Um, and let's see, Zahara did the same thing. She introduced herself as Zahara Marley Jolie. So at her uh, sorority. In so college. it's all but like why, it though? never happened. Is this because he wears bucket hats in public? Yeah, it's because he wears bucket hats in, pub- in public and she is. She had it with him. She got the children she wanted. She got his DNA. They made the perfect children. And look at her. And now she reigns alone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, with, like, the um, Eternals behind her. Like, I don't know if that's the movie or just what they're going by as a family. Well, she, her, I think it's strange when these celebrities, like, are, like, their only friends are their children. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like they can't make friends with anybody. You never really see Angelina Jolie with, like, hang friends. Hang out with anybody. That's she's true. She's only with hanging out with her children. She's producing a Broadway show with one of her children. It's like... The Outsiders, the right? The Outsiders. So it's like, she doesn't... I think it's strange that way. I mean, I understand, I guess, because when you're that famous, everybody wants something from you. But, like, you can't be friends with, like, say, Jennifer Lopez. Waiting for her friend. Oh, I mean, Angelina Jolie could be friends with somebody out there. I feel like, I don't, I, I think nobody wants to be friends with her. Well, I have a friend of mine who is an actress who is um, a former neighbor to Angelina and Brad. And they used to live off Beachwood Canyon. Oh. Mm hmm. And my friend was, her house was right in front of theirs. So, their backyard backed up to her backyard. And she says was always screaming. Oh my God. Always screaming. At the, at the, I don't think violent, but like just arguments. arguments. Just like, you fucking bitch. I'm like, oh. Oh my God. And I, that was, that's her yelling at the children. I don't think it was her yelling at the children. It was like Brad. Brad. I think it was Brad yelling at the kids. What's going on in that family? I don't family? know. But I would just sit in a pool chair with a cocktail and listen. And, and li- <laughs> oh my God. That's how I would just... With a straw and just like sit back and like, uh, who needs to watch television? Who needs a subscription needs to it? any service? Do you remember um, in Troop Beverly Hills, the like romance novel lady? That's what it with the, with the Press the record button. Like there's a fury in the back. Yard. <laughs> Brad is screaming it again. Just like write a memoir in the backyard. Ugh. After all that they went through, like, you know, with Jennifer Aniston and all of that, like, hoopla pla, and it just ends with this sort of like hating each other. I know, but I feel like they destroyed so many lives along the way. It really is the pits, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, not to them. They don't like it. But, all jolies. but we still know who you are. It's not like we're going to be like, oh, you're. <laughs> we still not like we I know you're Brad Pitt's kid. Well, they're they're still lo- they're still not officially divorced and they're still in a like a lawsuit. It's dirty, huh? Over that over that vineyard, that, that vineyard. French vineyard. Also, that you ever see pictures of that place? It's like huge. I read this whole great article about it in Vanity Fair. Did you? Uh, Brad loved it there because he wanted to get away from her. Yeah. Because there was like a pond. And um, apparently, like, they just, like, when the whole thing went down between the two of them, they left everything behind in the house. Like, it was, like, frozen in time that the people there said it was, like, so scary. At the at at the the vineyard? At the vineyard, because they lived there, too. It was, like, a house. Where was it? In France. And they left all the children's toys and everything was uh, left, everything was left behind. Oh, uh, it's just giving Nicole Kidman and the others. Oh, it's very much so. <laughs> Nicole Kidman, like, they should give it to Nicole Kidman. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, I just couldn't imagine being that wealthy. You're just like, oh, just leave, leave the it. chateau. Leave it behind. Yeah. Leave everything behind. They should sell it, and they can turn it into the reboot chateau for the swan, revisit it. <laughs> yes. Lock them up. Lock no them mirrors. up in a different cellar. <laughs> <laughs> and chop up those faces. Chop it up. Re- reconfigure. Now... <laughs> Um, we talked earlier about how people hate to work. That's me. Mm-hmm. This is a uh, guy. This is Dylan Minette. I'm hoping to say his name right. Or Minette, Dylan Minette. He is in a band that was on the Good Morning America 
summer outside oh, tour. I love those summer outside series. It's like him and like three other guys. I think they were actors and now they're in a band. It's very like Jonas Brothers uh -huh. kind of thing. So he went on this pop culture podcast called The Dropout and said that he quit acting because it was a lot of work. I don't blame him. <laughs> said it was just... You have to... Like, I'm doing this play now. How much time I spent memorizing lines? Yeah. Oh, I, I could have been out of pride. Yeah. Yeah. He's now doing... The, the band's name is called The Wallows. Like, wallow in it. Uh, he's taking a break from acting. He was on the successful Netflix series, 13 Reasons Why. He stepped away. Uh, he was on this podcast, and he says that he is revealing that he's turned his focus to music after losing his passion for acting. He says, I was on 13 Reasons Why, and it was really popular and definitely reached a peak in which I've had in acting. But it also started to feel... Like a bit of a job. Yeah. I was in a very fortunate position. It was always fun for me. Yeah. I uh, always really inspiring, but then it was just starting to feel like just a job. Yeah. I do feel like if something feels like work, don't do it anymore. I agree. Mm -hmm. And I think Jennifer Lopez should do, like, take a break. She definitely needs to take a break. <laughs> There's and a I, lot of people that should stop. A lot of people should stop. I'll say Jojo Siwa. <laughs> Jojo Siwa. Uh, J-Lo Siwa. J-Lo Siwa. <laughs> Jar Jar um, Siwa. I think, mo like, I think everyone should just stop. Because yeah. I, I also people... A reset. A reset. People need to be encouraged more to just stop and quit. Yeah. I don't I don't like people encouraging, say, keep going, keep doing it. There's nothing wrong with being like, I don't want to do this. If you can take a break on Instagram, you can take a break in real life. Yes. You know? And just go and hide. Go hide. Go hide. I mean, Angelina Jolie's got a fucking chateau you can There's stay in. There's an empty villa in, in France abandoned. Yeah. Go not even listed on there. Airbnb. No, not at all. Go Go hide there. Yeah. All this, like, thing, I hate, like, you know, you know what my, one of the things I hate the most? The show must go on. Mm. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. The show does not have to go on. I'll be the first one to be like, I don't think I want to do this anymore. <laughs> Watch out for that play. She might be quitting. I know. No, it's just like, there's nothing wrong with being like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I get it. I have those days too. That was me at Pride after the parade. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to go home and watch the first Omen and eat pizza by yeah. myself. <laughs> People really like that. I think that 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 saying the show must go on is like is detrimental to you. Mm -hmm. You know, like you know, the that's show must... really attacking your mental health. It really is because, and it's also, I will say this: there are pros to it. Like, yes, if you don't like it figure something else out. He's transitioning from acting to music and was on Good Morning America. Ugh, so The number one spot for music. I mean... All the hot concerts. All the all hot the cutting concerts. Edge kids. Such concerts include Fergie's one-handed <laughs> cartwheel, <laughs> Hillary Duff's iconic... Uh, arm dance. <laughs> All the big moments. <laughs> All the big moments. I think Britney Spears, when she had Smoker's Cough, do you remember when she was like, hey, I'm gonna do the music. Like, she was the original JoJo Siwa. Uh, yeah, she really was. It was like, I think it was for Pride? I'm oh, sure. She, and she, she was really like, adjusted. She was like, hey guys, it's my Britney Spears. I'm gonna kick off Pride in San Francisco with the Castro. That's what it was. Oh my gosh, I missed that one. Oh, can we pull it up real quick? Oh, you've seen it. I know you've seen I it. I probably have. I mean, I watch, I watch like lots of Britney live performances. I'm sure I've come across it. And she's congested. It's giving like it's a whole thing. Britney Spears, Castro, Good Morning America. Good morning, America. I'm excited to tell you on Tuesday morning, March 29th, I'll be performing for the first time ever in a special concert in San Francisco's okay? historic Castro District on Good Morning America. And I promise you, it'll be a morning to remember. See you soon. She won't remember it. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe I've never seen that. I promise a bit. Like congested mucinex. Yeah. You know what? It could be worms. When in doubt. <laughs> when in worms. doubt, worms. Worms. So we are wishing th this guy uh, a fruitful career after quitting acting. You know, but I feel like the cons to him telling this out loud 
in a public forum could give teachers the idea to say, you know, I don't like teaching anymore. I'm quitting. Yeah, well, they should quit too. Everyone should quit. <laughs> if we no learned- one's learning anything anymore anyway. <laughs> cares. Turn on the TV. <laughs> Get off TikTok. Get off TikTok. Just quit. Just, you know, I want to quit this podcast, like, today. Quit everything. Like, yeah. Who, who cares anymore? Who really gives a shit? Just go in, a, in an Atlas um, shuttle and shoot up into the sky like If Jennifer that's Lopez. the one thing I learned from that movie is getting shot into space alone, not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, just quit the planet. Yeah. Let's just quit. Quit the planet and take me into orbit. Yeah. And we're going to start. Hold on. I was going to say something. We will start by waiting for tonight. Oh, oh. God. Well, Pete, thank you for being here. Thank Did you, for you have fun? Me. I had a ball. That was so much fun. Please tell everyone where they can find you, can see you. No, where I've quit. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram yeah. at Pete Zayas yes. and on my YouTube channel, The Pete Zayas Show. And um, I'll be doing that play. I, I promise you I won't quit. I hope you don't Psycho quit. Psycho Beach Party in June at the Matrix Theater. You can get tickets on, there's a link on my uh, Instagram profile. Okay. And um, we can go to the Matrix Theater and hopefully nobody quit. No. Don't quit. Could you imagine just the whole cast? You're like, guys. <laughs> we have understudies. You do? We have understudies. Work. Yeah, yeah. Make those they, bitches work. This is serious. Yeah. If you have understudies, make them work. They want to work. I mean, do they really learn the lines? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> and thank you guys for tuning in. We will see you next time on the Just Saying Podcast. Have a great week. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.